In this video, we will show how to run a quick search in Project Wise Explorer. To run a quick search in the default location, click on the target location and then enter the text you wish to search for in the search box in the toolbar. In this example, we'll search for track. Once you've entered the desired text in the search dialog, click the green arrow to the right to start the search. Here we see the search results. If you highlight the text in the search field, then right click on it. The standard options of cut, copy, paste, and delete are also available. The selected folder will remain active until you select another folder to reset the search location. Once done, enter the search text as before. To open the folder location of the search document, right-click on the document and choose Open Folder from the list of available options. Here you can see the selected document is located in the Sheets folder under the DGN folder located in the Metro Station work area. Next, we'll look at running a quick search in a location other than the default location. To see previous searches, click on the drop-down arrow in the search toolbar. You may select one of these options and run a quick search in the default location. To further refine your quick search, right-click in the search field and you are presented with options to search in data source, search in current folder, or search in environment. If selecting search in environment, you must further define or identify the attributes that are applicable in the data source you wish to search in. Once you've selected the desired search options, the search will run automatically. As before, if you wish to see where the search file is located, right-click on the document and choose Open Folder. Next, we'll look at setting a default search location. There are three default searches that are listed under the Magnify icon in the Quick Search field. All content will search everything such as attributes, full text documents, and folder properties. The full text search will search on all text in a file. Document and folder properties includes project name and description, but not project properties, but we'll search document and folder properties. Next is settings. Clicking on settings will open a dialog where you can create your own custom searches and give them a unique name in search types. To create a custom search, start by clicking on the magnify icon as shown. Give the new search a name, then click OK. Next, click the appropriate boxes to establish your search criteria. Then click Apply, then OK. Going back to the magnifier icon in the search box, you can now see the newly created search in the drop down list. Additionally, under Settings, you can set the default search. Navigate back to Settings, and under the General tab, you can set whether you want to quick search the entire data source or search in content folder and subfolders. By default, quick searches are set to search in current folder and subfolders. Now we'll look at how to set the number of quick searches to keep in history. These are the searches that are available for use when selecting the drop down arrow in the search field. To set the number of searches to keep in history in the search toolbar, start by navigating to settings as shown. In the general tab, under history, you can enter the desired number of searches you wish to keep in history. The default number is set to 100 and the maximum input number is 999. 
Enter your desired number, then click OK. To clear your search history, simply navigate back to Settings, and under the General tab, click Clear History. Click Yes to confirm this option, then OK to close settings. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.